Hey guys, hope you're well. Today I'm talking about the 17th of July 2024. Um, I did a little bit more work uh, off camera again. Uh, when I say a little bit, I do mean a little bit. I'll show you in a moment after I've hit the sheets here. Um, so yeah, just changed up. Uh, I've managed to mirror the archway above the church. And I'll continue to do that. And... Uh, Maybe start some other structure, start some other part of the structure. Cool. So, yeah, so today, um, uh, it's weird that we have lots of, uh, that we're going to have lots of detail at the front and at the side. I don't have any planned. I suppose I should probably change that. Uh, maybe we should start looking at that today. So, yeah, as you can see here, I really like it. I need to find a way to blend it into the corner here so it isn't just smashed in. So this I really like. This has turned out really nicely. I need to make a little bit more texture to the pillar and then I'm very happy with that part. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this part. I know I, don't, I, could, I could literally do this on, on the ground level and then just move it up. So I can just destroy it as a block and move it. But I don't know. <laughs> For some reason, it just feels better to do it like this, even though the scaffolding is a nightmare. Um, so yeah, let's just build up some bricks here. I'm going to have to edit all this. This is going to have to be in loads of more. I've already done this part in a creative world, so I know I can do that. And then the corner part, what we're going to do, so this is going to be a big tower. The, each side of the door is going to be a tower that goes above like quite a small... Uh, quite almost a flat roof, a very very gradual point. Uh, on the side, what should we have? Some just nice details, nothing too much, I guess. The main event is the front and inside. You know, I don't want to spend too much time on the outside. This side too. I suppose I could do like half bricks with the yellow terracotta. That's what I might do. As for the video today. Uh, I suppose that would be a good start actually. Let me invent a new block like we like to do here on this channel. So if I go, well, I can just take down eight. Oh, what? No, whoops. Eight. So I've just taken half the block, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's half the block. Bang. Boom. <laughs> Easy as that. Well, I'm getting much better at this mod. So now, with that knowledge, mm, I'm not quite happy. That's a little bit bland. Maybe I can give it a bit of spice here. Maybe take this bit back one. Perfect. Like that. And then. I think I'm happy with that. We can also do some saving techniques and save our yellow terracotta bits like we did back in that build over there. Um. we do that? Or should we just keep it true to the terracotta? It's not that hard to get. I could just get more. Oh, I don't know. Ugh, fuck it. Let's save some. Um. Thank you. Where am I going? God's sake. So today I woke up around 8.30, which was a little bit late for one of the classes I wanted to go to. So I uh, jumped out of bed, because I, I wanted to go to the 9.30 pro class, and then straight after do the 11 o'clock class, so three hours of training. 
Um, but I went to bed quite late because I got in late. Uh, what was I doing last night? Oh yeah, I was training. Yeah. Um, so yeah, went through all that, made some porridge this morning. I know I haven't. I've been like missing breakfast recently. I've been trying to miss breakfast, but when I'm like, I'm going to train a lot, and then I need to get back and because I knew my day, so I knew that eating breakfast would actually be a good idea. So today, I was going to training. And then I was going to be home for like an hour and then I'd be going to work. So I knew that food would be a good idea. And it was. I don't regret it. Um, so I had a wonderful chocolate porridge, which tasted fantastic today. Just I think I probably just put too much Nutella in it. <laughs> and I really felt I felt good in training. My energy was very good. Um, can I take this out? Yes. Oh, no. Why is that happening? Why? Okay, if I disconnect somehow. Why though? What if I hit that bit? No. Almost understand the mod, not entirely. Um, hold on. Yeah, so when's training, the move of the day was some sort of modified guillotine. Um, and it was quite an interesting variation. I'll be trying to remember it. I still haven't found a way to track jiu-jitsu progress without standing there like a fucking retard recording the class. I hate, I mean, I don't, it's kind of rude, but I don't hate those people. It just makes me think, dude, fuck off. Don't know why. Don't know why I'm against it. I just am. <laughs> Um, I just I look I just looked up before I pressed record. I pressed record like how to track uh, jujitsu progress. There's loads of videos on it, so I'll watch some and surely I'll like one and I'll start doing that. So I still haven't done that today. Uh, last night after I uploaded the video, I did actually make a to-do list whilst I was walking to training yesterday. I didn't mention it, but I did. And before I went to bed, I made sure I completed them all. I checked my MOT in the UK. You need to like check your car every year, so I checked that and when it was due. And uh, I inquired with the fucking mechanic, like, yo, I need to do this test. And uh, I didn't hear back from them today, but I can call them later. I've still got loads of time. And then I signed up for a competition to go to with my friend in, uh, in the middle of England. In the middle of nowhere, but it's near where my gran lives. So I'm going to go and say hi to my gran and compete. Because I, I, I want to say hi to her pretty soon after I got back anyway. Um, so, yeah, signed up to that. And unfortunately, today at training, I fucking, I think I've sprained my finger. My, uh, like, middle knuckle on my right ring finger has, like, swollen up and I can't make a fist. I was just rolling with my friend and then I tried to, like, grab his hip in a scramble. And I miss his hip and I sort of just hit the floor with an open hand. And I felt, I think I even saw my finger, like, come back completely. And it fucking really hurt. Um, my friend was sort of like, what? What do you mean your finger? Because I just said, dude, stop, stop. I was like, let me just have a break. My finger's like fucked. And he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, just, can I have the round off, please? I'm sorry, dude. And he was like, yeah, for sure. And I went for a stage. I thought I got hit in the head. Because it was really painful. And then I got up to go to the toilet. And then... My fucking vision goes, like I lose a little bit of colour out of my vision and then my ears start ringing and I can hear myself breathing and I'm like, yo, what? And at this point I'm in the toilet, I'm like, I need to get out of the toilet, if I fall over no one can help me. So I sat down next to some dude who was watching it around, I was like, yo, did he kick me in the head? He's like, no man, I would have seen that. And I'm like, I, don't, I didn't think he did, I just, from my feelings right now, I could have sworn I'd been hit in the head. I think it was just really painful, so my body like released loads of adrenaline, and then um, got me all fucked up. So yeah, it was a really weird sensation. I was really annoyed. I was like, for fuck's sake, I just travelled an hour and a half to this fucking gym. I did two rounds, and now I don't think I can fucking roll again. I my, I really wanted to roll again, but in my mind, I was like, my hand is really hurting, and if I jump into a round right now, it's probably not going to be 
great. I'm just going to maybe make it way worse. Um, thank God for this. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do there. So I just sat out and I was like, you know, I need to make the most of this. I'm going to like do some te technical like drills with, with a friend because this journey is going to be a complete waste otherwise. So um, that's what I did. And yeah, okay, I want to figure out a way. Am I happy with this just to be lined up here? Let's just try it. What do I not have? Probably not enough of these. Yeah, I think it's alright. Do we want to change the inside walls? We need to know now. I need to decide that later. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Um, let me just fish talk about the rest of the day. Oh, fuck, we haven't really done enough in game though. Fuck. Uh, shit. I'm not happy. I haven't done enough. I think I just have to, like, because I need to just, it's getting late again, so. If I start doing these videos earlier, I can set objectives to do in game and then, uh, you know, finish it so I can actually do this church in a reasonable pace instead of taking fucking ages. Um, let's, just hit some, let's just hit the fucking fish, though. That's, that's always my comfort zone. There's only ages to progress in this world. So yeah, I fucked up my hand. This I, I thought it was more than one finger, but when the pain went away, uh, when it wasn't constant pain, I just my ring finger was just swollen up, and all the others were fine. Um, I started drilling with my mate. I haven't seen this particular guy in like two weeks. He just stopped training. I texted him yesterday. Like, Yo, where you at, G? And he's like, Oh, my sleep's been all fucked up. I'm back now. I was like, Oh, cool. And um. Good to see him again. He asked me how the competition was and everything. He asked me if I quit my job, and I was like, "No, dude. Actually, I got a story for you." And I actually got I actually got confirmation today. I'm, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but I was cleaning up at work today, and I was just chatting away with my manager, and she said to me that because uh, I asked her as a joke, like, "Have you got any more waitresses joining?" So I want to fucking talk to some girls, and. Um, she was like, no, but then she spoke to me about the other girl situation and she admitted that she had a conversation with the other manager and they were like, yo. So we, we've got this girl coming back, but if she comes back, then Faris will leave. What are we going to do? And they agreed to get rid of the girl from me. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like I'm, I'm what Americans call a bus boy, or in, in the UK we call it a runner. I just move the food to the tables. I don't even take orders. This girl was a fucking waitress, and she was a good waitress too. And they got rid of her for me. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Like I'm, I'm pretty flattered, but I don't know why they did that. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what a compliment. And I, 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 at first, I've been saying that for a few days now because I thought it was just a theory, but it's actually a fact. They got rid of her because they knew that I would leave if she came back. Pretty hilarious. And she thinks that I've like snitched on her, but I actually haven't. It was actually the other dude that she was fucking that I think that was sung the story to everyone. I only told the two managers a very, very, very narrowed down story. I literally just said, I asked her out, she said no, and I want to leave when she comes back so she doesn't feel uncomfortable. That's basically all I said. And this dude went all in, the entire, because he works in the kitchen, the whole kitchen knows the whole story. And she thinks I was the snitch. I'm like, no, it was your other boyfriend, man. Fuck you. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even going to explain it to her. She deserves everything that's happened. But I wasn't the snitch, though.
even though she thinks I was. But that doesn't even matter. What matters is happy ending. I can still work at this restaurant and have fun. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about the restaurant in a moment when it gets to it. But yeah, so I had a coffee with my mate. Stayed out pretty late. Not late, but late for the standards of the 11am training. I got back at like 3 o'clock. Just stayed out chatting for ages. Yeah, nice to talk to my friend as well. Um, got home. Oh, I played some chess on the way to the training as well. And I fucking... I had a very interesting start to a game. And the guy resigned because he knew that he fucked up. So I was like, damn, can't start another game now. Got on Instagram Reels. Had some more messages on the Bumble today. But, you know, not really anything that exciting. The messages are... They're not really not that exciting. This is my third time on dating apps. And I'm, I'm only going on Bumble this time. I'm not going to get the others because it just takes up too much time. But, um... Yeah, it's just not that exciting, uh, this time round. I suppose it's probably too soon to jump into it. I said this yesterday. That probably is why. But yeah, um, got back. Um, I, I barely sweat, so I just made my food before my shower. Obviously, I was still going to shower before going to work. And I thought I had loads of time, so I had a really. I took myself ages to get ready, you know. And then by the time I asked my fucking Amazon product with the beginning name beginning with A what the time was because my phone was charging downstairs, she said fucking like I got thirty minutes to do a forty minute drive and I'm still in my boxes. I was like, what the fuck? I just threw my clothes on, got in the car, sped off, and I only got to work like two minutes late. But yeah, I had a lovely spag bowl and some cookies whilst uh, watching Action Branson trying out different burger restaurants in New York and uh, yeah it was a um, nice little afternoon and then um, car journey was pretty non-eventful uh, was stuck behind a few slow drivers aka law-abiding citizens that obey the speed limit okay um, and then what did I do well then I found got to work didn't I and it's actually quite busy. Um, it seems that the owner, I've been working here since November and we've gone through multiple cycles of where the owner is like, no staff lunch. And then like, oh, send send the staff home when, when it gets really quiet. Or like, don't call this many staff in. So I've gone through periods of like, we've had like hardly any staff. So we're always panicking and work's really not enjoyable because we have to fucking like, we're at 100 miles an hour and people are complaining because there's not enough, but like, customers are complaining because we're not getting the food out fast enough because there's not enough people. Um, and then recently when I got back from traveling for a few weeks, as I said, it was like super overstaffed. There were so many staff on duty and I, even I was like, this is too much now. Like I'm literally haven't done anything for an hour. Because every time I go to do something, someone's already on it. Or two people are on it. There's so many people. But uh, now he's had a word with everyone. He's, he's had a word with the manager and said, you've got to cut everyone's hours. We don't need this many people. Um, and he's sort of right, but he's cut it too much now. Um, so now it's uh, even the kitchen are feeling it too. It's going to be shit. But um, hopefully he gets proven wrong and he lets us put... Yeah, it's the cycle. There's like a few bad weeks, and then it goes back to the good old days. I mean, it's a long way from the good old days. There's no one there that like we used to sit outside and chat with. Like, There's no chats after work anymore that there used to be. Um, that's what I used to really look forward to. Admittedly, most of the part because that girl was there. That's the main reason I wanted to stay outside and chat. But, um, yeah, um... Yeah, the chats don't really happen anymore. It's pretty peak. But yeah, times change. Um, so yeah, got rid of, got the work day done. Um, not really anything worth mentioning. It's a pretty normal day. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I was just trying to carry plates without my finger making me cry. But I did feel it a little bit. But yeah, I'm all right. It, feel, it feels better already. It's really swollen up now. I'm looking at it right now. It's pretty swollen, but it feels all right. So I'm, I'm, hopefully I'll be fine in two weekends' time for the, my competition. I'm not going to go to training tomorrow. Just a really bad idea with the finger. I'm not sure how long. I'm going to start taping it, see if that helps. And yeah, um, 
I was the last one out, so I locked the gate, drove home, did a little cheeky overtake because I was slow drivers. And um, yeah, you know, um, had uh, had some Cheerios when I got in, came upstairs, uh, did a little bit of insurgency whilst watching my vi yesterday's video. And uh, yeah, another good day. Tomorrow, it's going to be an interesting one because it's going to be quite quiet tomorrow. It's not going to be much for me to do, but I'm, I'll find something. I really wish the personal training video came back so I could actually do work on that, but I'll find something to do. That's it.